Hello, welcome to Living Marvelously. I am Lori Jonas, and I just wanted to share a few things with you today about keeping your wellness intact during this really busy holiday season, a time when we try to do too much and we stress ourselves out doing things that really don't bring us joy. Because Living Marvelously is all about following your joy. It's all about you realizing that you have so much to offer this world and you should be doing that. So let's start with tip number one, prepare a budget and stick to it. <laughs> so whatever you decide that number is and how much you wanna spend this year, stick to it. Have a plan ahead of time that helps you you know, be aware of where you're overspending, how much you're spending. And you know, some people like to do lists, some people like to be really specific about it, or you can just in the back of your head be going, okay, I wanted to spend about this much on this person, and I did that. You really don't have to spend a lot of money at Christmas. You know that, right? You can do mindful gifts, like I'm gonna make you some cookies, or I'm gonna write you a card or a letter. Let's schedule something that we can do together. It doesn't have to be about money, but make sure that you are, if it is about money, you're not stressing yourself out about spending too much. Here's a quote to go with that. Reminder, we don't have to continue holiday traditions that leave us broke, overwhelmed, and tired. Rachel Jonah. Tip number two, move your body every day. This is going to be really important during this holiday season. We tend to get so busy that we forget that we need to keep moving our body and keep up with our fitness and keep up with our keeping our energy moving. So take walks, dance to a song, keep up with the class, some classes if you're doing those. Do some stretches in front of the TV. And sometimes we eat a little extra food during the holidays. So it's essential to keep your body moving to keep you feeling good about yourself. Quote, your body will be around a lot longer than that expensive handbag. So invest in yourself. Tip number three accept compliments. You know, we're out and about a little bit more during the holiday season and people tend to be in a good mood. So they may be handing out compliments like, oh gosh, I love your sweater today. Maybe you're wearing a new Christmas sweater or you look so happy today or whatever it is, but accept those compliments with gratitude. Accept the positive energy connection and, and then maybe give some of that back. But treat those compliments as little gifts. When we accept compliments, we are reminded that others see us through different eyes it's from the daily OM. And accepting compliments is a superpower skill. Internalizing them could be a secret superpower. Okay, tip number four. Talk to someone if you are lonely. Everyone feels pressured to be busy during the holiday season, so we tend to isolate ourselves. Try to maintain connections regularly. Be careful about comparisons and guilt during this season. Find joy in others' company to avoid feeling lonely. On the other hand, if you know someone who is alone, reach out to them. When we say we are all in this together, it means we all have to take care of each other. Tip number five, lower your expectations. You stress out over the holidays because you think it should look like and feel like it does at the movies or at your friend's house or in the magazines or on social media. Make the holidays your own by doing the things that fit your lifestyle and make you happy. This holiday season is a perfect time to reflect on our blessings and seek out ways to make life better for those around us. Terry Marshall. Tip number six, take off some of that pressure. You don't have to recreate the wheel. There are many gift guides out there. See what resonates with you and then buy that or create that. I wrote a gift guide last year, Gift Giving with the True Meaning of Christmas in mind, or there's all kinds of gift guides on um, Pinterest or, you know, just Google gift guide and you'll find something very specific to the person you are trying to buy a gift for. The other thing is take off some pressure on what you think you have to do. You don't have to send out bringing cards. You don't have to have your house decorated from top to bottom. You know, maybe don't put up as many decorations this year, unless that is what makes you feel joy. 
then put up as many decorations as you want. But be sure that you are doing the things that bring you joy and not what you think you have to bring to others. So the best and most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt with the heart. That's from Helen Keller. And it's not how much we give, but how much love we put into the giving. Mother Teresa. Okay, last tip. Make time for laughter. WebMD wrote an article about why you need to add laughter into your life. In it, they say, as it turns out, laughter is excellent medicine. So make time for it just as you would for a healthy meal, the exercise break, and deep breathing exercises. The great news about introducing a daily dose of laughter is that there is no known side effects. You can't overdose. And so far, we have not documented any allergies to our laughing breaks. It's a true organic medicine for you. So do what you can to laugh every day. My mom, Marvel, was good at making us laugh. So if you need a laugh now, I have a post called Marvelisms that I share some things that she used to do that would make us all laugh. Here's a few more quotes to, to round this out. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas, but if the white runs out, I'll drink the red. Christmas is a baby shower that went totally overboard. That's from Andy Borowitz. So the holiday season has begun, and I hope these holiday wellness tips will make it a little less stressful. So take care of yourself. Be good to yourself. Do the things that bring you joy. That's what it's all about. Because when you feel joyful, you are spreading that positive energy, that positive joyful state to everyone around you. So let's make that contagious. Let's keep doing that. Do the things that bring you joy. Happy holidays.